there's a certain topic that comes up fairly often, and I still see comments about it even now, is from either the MK9 Rage Review or the Critique. The Rage Review is actually turning 10 years old this year, by the way. Uh, both of those videos, are, are people comment, why do you hate Kratos so much? What's your problem with Kratos? It's just funny, because since those videos, since the Critique in 2016, how many times have I even mentioned Kratos? You know, I brought him up in, obviously, the Align Through Time on the God of War series. And, uh, I brought him up in the MK11 critique when comparing him positively to uh, the Terminator in MK11. And that was kind of it. Yeah, you know, generally speaking, I don't really talk about Kratos. And there's a very good reason for that. I don't care anymore. And that's the thing, is this whole thing brings up an interesting point that is worth considering when you watch a lot of content creators who voice their opinions on things, especially in like reviews and critiques and the like. I brought up Kratos in 2012, and then again in 2016. I've barely talked about him since. And so, because I've never gone out of my way to say, I just don't care about Kratos anymore, and haven't done for years, people just kind of look at the last time I talked about it, where I was very um, negative towards the character, and just kind of assumed, and not necessarily unreasonably so, that I have this big issue with him. I feel like something similar has kind of happened with Quan Chi, actually. Just today on Twitter, there was this post. It's I'm not exactly sure what exactly the picture is from, but I, th I think it's Richard DiVizio with the Quan Chi makeup. But they got the Quan Chi makeup on, and they're just wearing a t-shirt and holding like a can of pop. It's just amusing to see Quan Chi in casual clothes. And then like someone... Like, sent that to me. Someone who doesn't even follow me on Twitter. So, I don't know if this is even someone who watches my videos or just knows me by reputation or whatever. But they, they sent that to me. And I'm, and I'm thinking, that's another one. People seem to think I've still got this huge issue with Quan Chi. But I don't. I just really dislike the way he was used in MK9. And then MKX, I'm torn because on the one hand, yeah, he's bringing him closer to the way he was before. The whole reboot thing. But it's also bad because it's inconsistent with how it was in MK9 because now he's a complete fuck up again. Think about that. When was the last time I really went on about Quan Chi? I don't really go on about Devorah that much either. We're like Quan Chi was like the antagonist of MK9, Devorah was the antagonist of MKX, and then for MK11 it was Kronika and for Aftermath it's Twindel. But like for the older ones from before MK11 I don't really talk about them that much. And I still hate Devorah of course, but with Quan Chi it's really just the MK9 and to a lesser extent, the MKX version that I take issue with. Anything before that is, is fine. And, and other versions, uh, other than Legacy and maybe Scorpion's Revenge. You know, I, I don't really have an issue with Quan Chi as a whole. But because I was so vehement in my dislike of the character in MK9, a lot of people just kind of assume that's the way I feel about him altogether. And because I've kind of mellowed out on him, and also on Devorah to some extent, and to Kratos and alternate universes in superhero comics, even if I think most of them are still absolute garbage, and the What If Disney Plus show has only further proven that. I don't really talk about them that much. I've gone on at length about them in certain videos, but I don't talk about them all the time, but without expressly saying I've mellowed out on it a bit, because sometimes I might not even realise I've mellowed out on it until I really think about it, people will just assume that I still feel the exact same way I, I did. The critique for MK9 was six years ago, as of, uh, I think it's... April or so this year. So, yeah, my opinion has just changed. But you don't really realise that as a, a viewer. You don't realise that the content creator's views have changed unless they expressly say so. So I'm not getting at anyone here. I'm just saying, I think this is an interesting subject to think about. I dislike certain characters at certain points, but the average person's only really going to notice when it's something that's expressly brought up or is just very abundantly clear without needing to be said. Like, if I was suddenly uh, praising a portrayal of Quan Chi, I think people would realise that my views have changed somewhat, at least. Uh, and that's worth considering both as a consumer and a creator. And I think that's uh, just a fun little thing to keep in mind going forward for everyone, really. I just hope I can uh, edit together something coherent, because this is the second time I've tried recording this, and the first one was over 10 minutes. It may have been like 20. It was very long and I just couldn't be asked with it. So hopefully I've made a, a decent point here and I won't need to edit around too much repetition. Uh, yeah, uh, see you soon, I guess.